today's video is on Cauchy's Euler equation. See here. So this topic is from linear differential equations with constant coefficients. So an equation of the form. So if we consider the derivative as d, if you consider the dy by dx as d, an equation of the form x par n d par n plus p1 x par n minus 1 d par n minus 1 plus and so on pn of y is equal to q where p1 p2 p3 and so on pn are the real constant and q is a function of x defined on an interval i is called see here Cauchy's linear equations or the Cauchy Euler equation of order n and its operator form is x par n d par n plus p1 x bar n minus 1 and so on pn of y is equal to q of x. So we are familiar with this equation. So where d is equal to the first derivative d by dx. So Cauchy's Euler equation can be transformed into the linear equation with the constant coefficients by substituting. See here in place of x if we put e power z in place of x if we put e power z and if we take log on both sides see here log x is equal to log e power z so z e power log e so we know that log e is equal to 1 and log z is equal to log x is equal to z and there is an another substitution that x cube d cube is equal to theta into theta minus 1 into theta minus 2 of y and x square dx is equal to theta into theta minus 1 of y and x d is equal to theta y. So if you keep all these substitution and solve, so we will be getting the solution. And here is the most most important problem related to this Cauchy's Euler equation. So now I am going to solve. So this is of the form x par n, d par n and so on. If we keep on uh, Decreasing. So, this is of the form. See here the question x par n d par n plus p1 x par n. So, this is uh, again d par n minus 1. So, this is d par n minus 1 plus and so on pn of y is equal to q of x where d is d by dx. So, this is also of the same problem. So, here what is the substitution I need? So, here first one x is equal to e par z and log x is nothing but z and in this place x square d square so we have to write theta into theta minus 1 and here x d so 1 theta is enough. So if we keep all this substitution in this equation see equation 1 becomes in place of x square d square I am keeping theta into theta minus 1 minus x d theta plus 1 of y is equal to log x. What is log x? Which is nothing but z. See here. So, if I multiply. So, this will be theta square minus theta minus theta plus 1 of y is equal to z. So, this will be theta square minus 2 theta plus 1 of y is equal to z. So, now this is an equation. So, in this equation, we need an auxiliary equation. See here. The auxiliary equation is f of m is equal to 0. So, in place of uh, theta, I am writing m square. That is m square minus 2m plus 1 is equal to 0. So, what is this? This is m minus 1 whole square is equal to 0. So, m minus 1, m minus 1. So, this will be m is equal to 1 comma 1 here. So, these are equal roots. So, now we need a complementary factor. So, for writing the complementary factor, yc is equal to c1. This is e power z. So, here. So, these are equal roots. So, now we have to write as c1 plus c2 into log x. So, this will be e power z. e power z is nothing but square. See here for this, if they are equal roots, yc is equal to c1 plus c2z into e power z. So, in place of z, we have log x. So, I am substituting log x in place of e power x. e power z in place of e power z, I am writing x here. So, clear? So, if they are equal roots, so this is the pattern. And coming to the particular integral yp, so which is nothing but 1 by. So, here what is it we have to take? So, here theta square minus 2 theta plus 1. So, I am taking theta square minus 2 theta plus 1 of z. So, yp here is. So, the particular integral we have to find out. So, for this I am writing this as 1 by this is theta minus 1 whole square into z. So, now I have to take this to the numerator and this will be theta minus 1 minus 2 z. And see here yp. 
as this is a square, I am interchanging. So this is minus 2 z. See here, now if I expand this one, so this will be 1 plus 2 theta uh, plus 3 theta square, 3 theta square plus and so on into z. So if I make a derivative with this, so z into 1 is z plus 2 times of, so the first derivative here is 1 and the second derivative it's 0. So, yp is equal to z plus 2. So, what is our z here? z is nothing but log x. So, now I will substitute log x. So, this will be log x plus 2. So, this will be log x plus 2. Therefore, our general solution. So, the general solution y is equal to yc plus yp. So, here the solution is y is equal to. What is our yc here? yc is c1 plus c2. See here, this is a c1 plus c2 log x into x plus this is log x plus 2. So, this is the solution. c1 plus c2 log x into x plus this is log x plus 2. So, this is the general solution for the given equation. So, this is how we have to solve and I will be posting many more uh, problems related to this series and if you look at this second one, so this is also of same kind and again the same substitution as it is the Cauchy's Euler equation. So, x square d square. So, it can be transformed as x square d square minus 3x3 plus 4 of y is equal to this is 2x square. See here for x square d square. So, it can be written as theta into theta minus 1. For x d it is theta and again for in place of x we have to write e power z and again for log x it will be z. So, if I keep all these substitutions, see what how the question transforms x square d square. So, I am writing as theta into theta minus 1 minus 3 theta plus 4 of y is equal to 2 into in place of x. I have to write e power z. This is whole square. So, if I multiply, this will be theta square minus theta minus 3 theta plus 4 of y is equal to 2 into e power 2z. See here. So now, so this is going to become theta square minus 4 theta plus 4 of y is equal to 2 into e power 2z. And now see here the auxiliary equation is, the auxiliary equation is f of m is equal to 0. So which is nothing but m square in place of theta I am writing m. That is 4m plus 4 is equal to 0. So, here what are the factors here? So, this can be written as m minus 2 whole square is equal to 0. So, m minus 2 into m minus 2 is equal to 0. So, m is equal to this is 2 comma 2 by c is equal to as they are equal roots this can be written as a c1 plus a c2z into e power this is 2z. So, now we have to transform into our original form that is a c1 plus c2. What is z here? So, z is nothing but log x. See here I am writing this is log x. And in place of e power z, what we have to write? In place of e power z, we have to write x. So, this will be x square. So, this is our yc complementary factor. And coming to yp, so particular integral. So, 1 by, so theta square minus 4 theta plus 4. That is theta square minus 4 theta plus 4 into 2 into e power 2z. That is 2 into e power 2z. See here. So, this can be written as theta minus 2 whole square 2 into e power 2z. So, as you know, if there is e power ax, so we have to replace d by a. So, here theta by 2, the quotient of z here. So, if I substitute here like this. So, this will be 2 minus 2 whole square 2 into e power 2z. So, now the denominator got cancelled. So, what we have to do? So, we have to keep one z and again make a derivative with this. That is 2 times of theta minus 2 into again 2 into e power 2z. And again the same substitution here. So, in place of theta again we have to keep 2. So, again if I keep 2 here, see what happens. So, this is 2 minus 2, 2 into e power 2z. And again it got cancelled. So, next time again we have to make one more derivative that is z square. So, for theta this is 1, 2 into 1 this is 2 and 2 times of e power 2z. So, if I cancel 2 
in the numerator as well as the denominator and our yp value will be this is z square e power 2z what is z here see let me show you z is nothing but log x just yp is equal to z is nothing but log x whole square and what is e power x e power x is nothing but x so in place of e power x i am writing x and this will be x square therefore our particular integral general solution is equal to yc plus yp and now what is our yc here see just now i have shown you so yc is nothing but c1 plus c2 log x c1 plus c2 log x into x square into x square plus this one this one is nothing but log x whole square into x square and this is our general solution so this is how we have to solve and i'll be uploading many more uh, problems related to this series if you don't understand for one time go through this video for one more time and definitely you can solve by your own and thank you for staying till the end and um, have a look at my next video too